In this video, we are going to talk about one of Nintendo's games being leaked, which is Fire Emblem Engage. So warning for those who don't want to be spoiled, there are going to be spoilers online, so be very careful. We also have some new information when it comes to Fire Emblem Engage, and also we're going to talk about why this is bad news for Nintendo's next big game, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, because I think we might need to brace ourselves for something big and something bad coming our way leading up to the release of that game. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, it helps the video reach more people when you do, and of course subscribe to be kept up on the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors. So Fire Emblem Engage was leaked out onto the internet, and this is what Nintendo Life has to say about it. Fire Emblem Engage is out this Friday, but some lucky people have already gotten their hands on the game. According to Fendo Rio 1 on Reset Era, someone is currently playing through the entirety of Fire Emblem Engage and posting their impressions online, including screenshots. So this really isn't too much of a surprise. Most Nintendo Switch games that release onto the platform are leaked online before they're even released. This has happened to Metroid Dread, it always happens to every single Pokemon game with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which has leaked, it happened to Pokemon Legends, and if I recall, it did happen to Sword and Shield as well. So be careful for being spoiled over the next couple days. It does come out on the 20th of this month, so we only have a couple days. Just try to survive, guys. But anyways, let's continue with the article. If you don't want to know anything about the upcoming game, it's best to get muting right away, as new details are emerging such as characters, maps, cutscenes, and story beats. Be safe out there. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, you can mute certain words on Twitter. Twitter, so that's something that I will probably do because this is one of those games that I was really looking forward to. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing this, but I love RPG games, so I don't want to be spoiled on it. And I'm also a story person. I go to the movie theater once a week, sometimes twice a week for the story in those movies, so I also enjoy a story in the game. And if I'm spoiled, it's gonna suck. With that being said, let's read out the last paragraph. This is yet another game in the long line of Nintendo releases that leaked online days before the game launched. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were victims of this, as were Bayonetta 3 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and more. Now when it comes to Fire Emblem Engage, we do have some more news on the game, which I find personally very, very, very interesting, especially as someone who plays Breath of the Wild on PC with the mods and skins and all that great stuff. Fire Emblem Engage. Looks like the game has leaked on the internet. It appears to be built using the Unity engine. Not what I was expecting. Modders will have a lot of fun with this. For reference, Three Houses was built using the Dynasty Warriors game engine. Oh, and this game's online features are powered by Nex. So one thing that I just love about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on PC is that you can swap different things out with different character models and you can also change the way the game works and you can also cheat in the game if you want. You can have unlimited arrows. There's just a lot of cool things that you can do on this game on PC. So a good example that you're seeing on screen right now is a wolf pet that you can use by using the amiibo wolf link and you can turn that into Snivy, which is pretty hilarious to see. There's even sound effects to it too. He even comes out and says Snivy. It's just really cool. Or you can have your bombs be Pokemon as well. There's a lot of cool things that you can do on the PC, and this is why I'm really excited that it's gonna be using an engine that's easy for modders. So the fact that it's gonna be made in Unity means that there's gonna be a lot of mods for these games at launch and further into the release date, which is gonna be really interesting because I really do wanna learn how to dump Nintendo Switch games on PC for better performance, but also for the mods as well, which is 100% legal, by the way. Now, this does bring up a very important question when it comes to another new Nintendo Switch game. Is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom going to be leaked and why would this be a very, very bad thing for us? More so than smaller games like Fire Emblem Engage or even bigger games like say Pokemon. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is a game that was announced in 2019 which was about four years ago so people have been waiting for a long time for this game. Not as long as other franchises but it's still a pretty long time. It's even worse when you think about how we waited for this game. We thought this was going to come out a lot sooner than it was going to come out. And even now, people are thinking that it might be delayed. So to be spoiled on this game after a long time waiting would be really bad. I mean, I have flashbacks to being spoiled about the end of the Avengers Endgame. I was spoiled that Tony Stark dies in that movie. That really, really sucked. I got spoiled one of the biggest moments in the MCU history, and it just wasn't a good time. And if this game leaks, which mark my words, 100% it will, there's gonna be massive spoilers online on YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and so on. Probably more so than Fire Emblem Engage, just because how big this game is gonna be. Right now, I don't see any spoilers popping up on Twitter or YouTube or anything for Fire Emblem Engage, but it's gonna be the exact opposite for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. As soon as someone gets this game early, with 
whether that be through some kind of illegal means, some employee leaks out the game, or maybe it's just an early street date that got broken by some GameStop or some Walmart, or maybe it just got sent early. There's gonna be something that happens and it's gonna appear online. People will dump this on the internet and play it on Yuzu and that's when we're gonna see all of these spoilers. The reason why this is such a bad thing is that the story of Tears of the Kingdom is something that I don't think should be spoiled. There are so many big questions that we have just from the trailers alone. Imagine how many questions we're gonna have playing through the game. And you know what, now that I think about it, most likely we're gonna get that 30 minute direct that will show gameplay for this game, so there's gonna be even more questions. And the exciting thing about a new game is that you get to experience it without being spoiled. It's your first time playing through a game. There are so many games that I wish I could be playing for the first time, just to experience the story for the very first time. So be careful leading up to the release because we don't want to be spoiled. And rounding out today's video, I do want to talk about one more topic and something that really gets me excited as a Nino Kuni fan. And you guys who are Yokai Watch fans will probably be pretty excited about this too. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but back in 2020, Level 5 was closed. Now, for those who don't know who Level 5 is, those are the ones behind the Nino Kuni games and the Yokai Watch games. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, and Nino Kuni, for, I was about to say Forbidden Kingdom for some reason. It's Nino Kuni Revenant Kingdom. These are two very, very, very good RPG games, and the fact that they closed down the studio in America really sucked. But there seems to be some interesting developments recently, which means that we could be getting that studio back in America, which means more Nino Kuni games. Other than the mobile game that just released, I think, about four or five months ago. This is what my Nintendo News has to say about the topic. Level 5, the studio behind Nino Kuni and the Yokai Watch franchise, stopped operating outside of Japan as their North American business closed as it scaled back in late 2020. The studio chose to focus on Japan, but new information coming from the company's official website hints that they are looking to globally distribute their games again. The information comes from a job posting published on the site, stating that they are looking to once again develop on a global scale due to the recent globalization of the game business. So this is really, really, really exciting for me because I love their games. I love playing Nino Kuni, specifically Nino Kuni. I haven't played the Yokai I watch series, but Nino Kuni games are just too fantastic. Even the mobile game, I had some fun with that game too, though I kind of stopped playing it. But I'm really glad that they're gonna be bringing their games to the West because there are so many great games that I think that they can make. And not only make, but games that are already out that they can port to the Nintendo Switch and bring to the US as well. And that's the last topic. I just want to get that out quick because I am really excited about this because I love their games. So what do you guys think about today's videos? Are you excited to play Fire Emblem Engage on PC and mod it? Are you excited to play it on the Nintendo Switch? Are you even going to play? Do you even care? <laughs> And what do you think about Level 5 distributing their games in the US again, just like they did before? Who knows, maybe we can get a Nino Kuni 3, which would be amazing. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.